This video is part of a series of SSIOS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uploads a file to an FTP server using the FTP task. Then I'll show you how to upload all the files in a folder to the FTP server. The first thing I want to show is where the file will be coming from. So this is my local path, and the file that I'll be uploading is called sendfilesdemo.xlsx. And I'm going to copy the address of the file path, because I'll be using it when I configure the package. And then here's the directory I'll be uploading the file to. And I'm using FileZilla to provide the server and uh, I'm going to be putting the file right here in the root. I'm not using directory one, that's for another demo. And then the last thing I want to show you is um, a little bit about how I have the FileZilla server configured. So I have uh, an account set up for me called Diane, and I have a password for it. And the virtual path is a forward slash that's for the root directory, and then the actual native path is the FTP root directory on my C drive, which is what I just showed you. So I click OK, and here are the messages displayed by the FTP server uh, based on its communication with my client. So here we are in Visual Studio, and I'll drag the FTP task onto the canvas. And actually, before I configure that, I want to add a couple of variables. So one will be the local path variable. And it is a data type of string. And then I'll paste in that uh, path that I copied. And then I have to enter the file name, which is sendfilesdemo.xlsx. And then I'll also add a variable for the remote path. Again, that's a string. And then that'll just be a forward slash for the root directory on the serve FTP server. Stay tuned to see how I configure the FTP task. <laughs> Now I will name my FTP task send file, and then I double click to open up the task editor. And I need to set up the FTP connection manager, so I click on new connection, and I enter the IP address that FileZilla told me to use. I leave the port set to 21, I'll change the username to Diane and my password. I'll test the connection, and it's good. I click OK. Then we go to the File Transfer tab. And uh, we are going to use a variable for the local path, so I'll change this to true. And then I select the local path variable. The operation will be send files, so I'll leave that set to the default. And under the remote parameters, I also need to change this to true because we'll be using a variable for the remote uh, file path. And we'll choose remote path here. And I'm going to leave the overwrite file dust set to false, but you can of course change that. And then we're done configuring this. I'm going to save the package and over here in Solution Explorer, I right mouse click on the name of the package and select Execute Package. And it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And then we'll go to our FTP root. And there you can see the sendfilesdemo.xls file is there now. Now I'm going to make changes to the package I just configured to send all 10 of these Excel files up to the FTP server and I already deleted the one file that we transferred um, earlier in this demo. 
and I don't actually need to make any changes to the FTP task. I'm only going to be making a change to the local path variable. So I'm going to change this from just having the name of one file to make it uh, star.xlsx. You could use star.star .star if you had you know, different types of files in the folder that you wanted to copy up or send up to the FTP server. So that's the only change I made. I'm going to save the package and execute it. And it was successful. I'll stop debugging. And now we'll go look at the uh, FTP root. And there you can see all 10 of the files were just copied up there. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that. 